On this week's player profile, we go through the life and times of one of MLG's biggest names, Scott Gandhi Lucier. At the start of Gandhi's career, the Halo scene was dominated by already established veterans such as Zios, Walshy, and the Ogre Twins. For the pack of hopefuls right behind them, standing out was a daunting task. Gandhi made his first appearance on the Pro Circuit in 2004, but it wasn't until 2005 that he really began to make a name for himself. Square hey, note. weren't you guys supposed to 3 0 us? Look at me, T2, look at me, please. T2, Tom, Tom, look at me. Don't look around, look at me. Midway through that season, Gandhi joined with Shockwave, McGavin, and Sergio to form Team iGameSpot, a young team with the big dreams of winning an MLG event. While this roster never saw a first place finish, it was evident that Gandhi and his crew had potential. At MLG St. Louis, they came within one game of defeating Final Boss, which up to that point was the closest the legendary team had ever come to losing. However, it became clear that changes needed to be made in order to achieve their goal. As a result, the team decided to add Karma and Strongside to the lineup. This move paid off and the team nearly dethroned Final Boss once again at the 2005 National Championships. Gandhi and his squad chose to look past this loss for the start of the 2006 season. Yes, sir. The chemistry was definitely working, everyone felt like there was room to grow, and the only change made was the adoption of a new team name, Carbon. Yet after a strong finish in 2005, the start of the 2006 season saw Carbon consistently losing not only to final boss, but straight ripping as well. That's tight. Oh, no. And straight ripping won the series three games to one. Gandhi, look at me. Gandhi, you suck. The young Carbon squad had all the talent in the world, but their reckless playstyle was frequently their own greatest enemy. To combat this problem, the team picked up Triple X as their coach. Triple X was a slightly older member of the community who had been a successful pro player in his own right. The results of the change were astonishing. Triple X's years of experience and level-headed demeanor brought a sense of focus to the team, and Carbon saw a second place finish at MLG Anaheim. 40 kills and Final Boss's green room strategy proves unbeatable. While Gandhi, Karma, and Shockwave were reined in by their new coach, Carbon's fourth member, Strongside, was not experiencing the same growth the rest of the team was enjoying. At MLG Chicago, a reckless mistake on his part would cost Carbon the tournament, and it was clear more changes needed to be made. Carbon took over the middle of the map, and it looked like another miraculous comeback. But Strongside, out of ammo, got caught with a pistol, and Rambi finished him off. The mistake cost Carbon as they were upset by the sixth ranked Storm Ventures in one of the most exciting matches of the year. We felt as a team that we needed to drop Strongside because he wasn't performing up to par. For the next tournament, the team picked up Ghost Ayami, another young player with big hopes, lots of talent, and the skill set needed by Carbon. With Ghost on their roster, the team stormed through the MLG Orlando bracket to once again meet up with Final Boss in the finals. In a stunning turn of events, Carbon defeated Final Boss, ending FB's streak of nine consecutive tournament wins. He's done! Wow! Team Carbon just pulled up the ultimate upset right there. That is Final Boss. The remainder of the 2006 season would be sung to the same tune. Carbon would meet Final Boss in the finals twice more, taking the victory each time. The second of these two wins would come at the MLG National Championships, where Gandhi and his team pocketed $100,000 for their performance. Let's climb on board with him, headed up the sniper ramp. Scott Falsi, does he get the kill? Carbon wins the championship. No longer a Cinderella story, they are the undisputed top team in MLG and the 2006 national champions. In 2007, Carbon won MLG Dallas, led in part by a huge performance out of Karma. In 2008, after a string of poor finishes, Gandhi was released by the team. He would go on to eventually join Legends and finish 8th place at the 2008 National Championship. For 2009, Gandhi made the transition to commentating, where he has remained ever since. His expansive career would go on to include hosting shows with the likes of Farouk Tahid, Julie Alexandria, and yours truly, Chris Puckett. For the 2011 season, Gandhi would be joined in the commentary booth by his old teammate Shockwave, where the two would bring back their old carbon antics to the Halo stream. Currently, Gandhi commentates at Gears of War 3 events and produces his own web show. This program features interviews with professional gamers about current events. 
And while it may seem Gandhi has played his last tournament, his dedication to the competitive scene is inspiring a new generation of cyber athletes to pick up where he left off.